All right, um, welcome. I just ate a huge bowl of pasta, so hopefully it doesn't sound like it. I feel like mouth sounds can really be just the worst part of recording sometimes. I also have no idea what we're gonna do in this episode or what we're up to, so we are finding out together, kind of. I know we have a little bit of expansion to do here on the farm and some more walnuts to get. So that's pretty much what I assume we're gonna be doing. There really isn't much more to it than that. Like the remainder of winter, like I mentioned before, is just gonna be um, filling out Ginger Island, getting some of those Mr. Key quests going and just kind of keeping that routine of making wine and the other little random chores we have. So again, this is kind of like the time you have to really do, like you can prioritize whatever you want. So in my case, it's some strange stuff. Like right now I'm buying beet seeds because I've decided I want to unlock the casino. And then, yeah, some more DSG just to get all that star fruit growing quick. And yeah, again, that's only available. It's been a while since I set this, but only buy DSG from the desert on Thursdays. Never buy it from Pierre because it's way, way too expensive. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm up to. I'm just kind of doing weird stuff, just chores. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the direction the series is headed. So that's again, why it's wrapping up relatively soon. I think this is an episode with just a couple days, but I know next week or next episode, geez, is, uh, is three days that are kind of like this. And I think I go to the skull caverns maybe a few times and those days tend to be pretty fast. So we're kind of getting down to it. I'm going to do like at the end of the year, I'll do a full overview of like kind of what we have going on what we've done, where we're at when it comes to other goals. And so if you've been following along in any way, you can kind of compare it at that point. And we'll see if we fell short or made it on any of the goals we set originally. Which, going back, I, I don't even know if I remember what they were, but I know we wanted to complete a community center, uh, get to Ginger Island, and make, I think our goal was like 5 million gold. Which at this point is... I think it's pretty much confirmed that we will make that, but we will see. It just depends on how how much more rapidly we expand our like kegs and all that good stuff. But for now, yeah, it's just kind of for now we're just executing, I guess, is what we're doing, executing on the strategy, and then I'll start another series with probably a small kind of a break in between where I'll put out, I'm going to put out like another 100 days kind of video soon where I did something that was just super, super awful. And then I'll probably do like an intro video for the next series. And then we'll get to like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday sort of schedule. But I don't know. That's kind of just behind the scenes stuff and not so much about this playthrough. Well. So I, I'm back at the Ginger Island, but I forgot sprinklers, which is kind of annoying because now I have to go back to the farm again to either steal sprinklers or make some more, but not a huge deal. It's just kind of a waste of totems and time. But again, you know, time is kind of whatever right now. We don't have anything we have to do. And I don't, I don't even really know why I'm making these sprinklers because I don't need them on the winter farm. So I might as well just move them. And like, none of the spring crops are super, super valuable. So it's not like I really need to have a huge farm. Um, honestly, like the second year, I don't even really do, I don't usually do a lot of farming on the second year. I'll like, I'll do it. I'll fill the whole thing with like, uh, I think rhubarb is what I usually do because it's most valuable, but that's it. I mean, I'm not gonna expand anymore. I'm not gonna, try and go crazy and I probably won't even make the rhubarb into wine because I already have so much star fruit growing but yeah gear two is just is mostly just 
whatever I want every day, all the time. And I don't ever have to worry about any deadlines or like, yeah, or any of this stuff. So that's kind of the one of the other reasons I like doing a, a min-max first year. And uh, it makes it, I don't know, it makes it like super relaxed to do anything else you want to do still within a two-year goal. So like, oh, so right now, like you can see I'm fishing, but I'm canceling every time I fish something up. It's just because I want the golden walnuts. I don't care about the fish. I don't need them. I'm not doing perfection. I just want those walnuts so I can open the door. So I'll probably fish a little bit more later on. And I'll do the same thing. If it's a, a regular fish, I just won't catch it. Which is, it's not a good strategy. <laughs> because you, you just don't get anything for it. Um, but I don't, I just didn't feel like fishing, honestly, so I didn't. And, um, uh, I also decided I'd probably speed up these volcano mines a little bit too. Even though, like, the patterns change every single day, once you've seen it, you've kind of seen it all. And so I'll probably show, like, the first couple floors and then maybe cut to, uh, Floor nine, just so you can at least see like the last chest uh, going forward. At least this one, I think, might be a this might be a full a full one. I don't know, who knows? But I'll only really do these runs until I get all the golden walnuts from here, and until I get um, the galaxy hammer. Or no, not the galaxy hammer. Sorry, the uh, the shards I need for the galaxy hammer. Gavel? What is it called? Infinity Gavel? Maybe I don't even... Yeah, Infinity. Whatever the Infinity Hammer is. Once I get that, I'll pretty much never come here. Um, so yeah, because that's all you need from here is like shards, right? You don't really get much else. Once you have a Java Ring, you don't need another one. And unless you want like... Uh, to power up a bunch of different weapons, then you don't have to really worry about going in here ever again. It's not like the skull caverns where you want to go like every time you have good luck or something. At least in my opinion. Um, the only good thing about the volcanoes, in my opinion, is the uh, the food source, like all those little mushrooms you get. They're super valuable because they heal you for so much. And you can get a ton of them really fast, especially if you have the double foraging perk and the iridium foraging perk. So yeah, here's I'm just finishing my night out fishing. And I'm fishing here because I also needed that um, a tail from panning. So I might as well kill two birds with one stone and hang out down there while I fish. And then I still need the ribs, which I think those take me a really long time to get. If I even, I don't even know if I have them yet. Uh, and that's kind of a drag because I think you get a banana sapling from that and five golden walnuts or something along those lines. So getting that would be uh, pretty big. It would really speed up our time or it would speed up our um, progress towards getting that room opened up. But yeah, so that was like one quick day in Ginger Island. Really nothing happening. I, uh, I don't know what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. I, I, I'm so bad at, like, keeping my Ginger Island chest organized. And what I should really do is buy one of those Junimo chests as soon as I can. So I have a chest that works on both the island and the farm. Um, but instead, you'll kind of see me struggle with the organization of this chest pretty frequently. And, uh, and yeah, so I got some more fishing to do. I don't have the exact numbers. Um, I think you can get like three or four uh, golden walnuts from the river and then three or four from the ocean. But I don't know if they're actually separate or how many you get from each if they are. So, so again, this isn't like a... 
how to get all the golden walnuts guides. Just kind of my thought process as I as I run through it. And uh, yeah, oh, oh, it's really easy to see where you missed GSG, but that won't be that big of a deal. Eventually, this farm, uh, like ideally, it probably won't be this year, but ideally, this entire farm will be filled with ancient fruit. That way, I don't have to replant. And once it's grown, it's grown. And I'll kind of transition from... Oh, I got my rips right there. Oh. Okay, well. That's good, I guess. Oh. I thought... Okay, so I must have replayed this day. Because I didn't... Oh, the artifact spot next to it. Which probably means I knew what was in it. And so, like... If you ever notice stuff like that, like there's an artifact spot right behind me. Like, obviously, I would, if I was playing like normally, I would probably just hoe it up. But chances are I played through this. And I already know what's in it. So I'm just going to see if it's something different tomorrow. And not hoe it up now. In case you were curious. I don't know if that's the exact case right now. But a lot of the time it is. And, uh, again, this is like the best spot to pan. If you're still trying to pan stuff up. Like, specifically the lucky ring. I probably, I mean, I should catch one of every fish. And I guess normally I would. I don't know. This playthrough, I kind of like, I didn't want to go too heavily towards perfection. Because then when I finished it, I would feel like I had to do perfection. So I ignored a lot of the tendencies I normally have. And sort of played a little bit differently. Because um, otherwise, yeah, you just catch every fish. Oh, I got the spine too. I think we're done with that dinosaur though. Which is not a dinosaur, but it's whatever it is. Oh, we just need the skull. So the skull, I think I mentioned it last episode. That comes from a golden walnut. And since I have the predictor, I will be able to get it really easily. But if you don't, it's kind of up to random chance, which is a little frustrating. And then yeah, back into these mines. I don't know if we have the enchant we really want on our hammer right now so we'll go up to the forge and try and see if we can get that taken care of this is one of my favorite floors because this floor you have some of the mushrooms that are alive and when you kill them they drop mushrooms and cinder shards so probably the best floor you can get in my opinion then yeah skipped i just skipped to nine there's no way to like skip faster, you just have to run. And uh, if you really want to get through it quick, just run to floor 9, ignore everything. But we did get our coffee ring, which is cool. So we'll... Maybe today... Or maybe tomorrow, we'll abuse that ring. Like We'll do it a little bit now, and hope that these guys drop some coffee, but... There's a much better way to abuse it if you... Uh, if you just go to the regular mines and kill really weak enemies over and over again, you can give yourself an infinite supply of coffee really, really quickly. Um, so, yeah, bug killer we don't want. It's fine, I guess, if you really want to kill the armored bugs in Skull Caverns. And Haymaker. I got, I got Haymaker and stayed with that. That's a... Uh, That's something. Haymaker is really not not worth anything, especially with a hammer, because I don't think you can scythe down grass with a hammer. Um, so maybe there's probably a method to my madness. The next thing in line might be Crusader or Artful, which are the two enchants that we would want. Crusader, which would allow you to kill mummies without a bomb, and you deal more damage to like unholy enemies or or evil enemies or whatever. And then Artful um, allows you to use your special move like twice as fast. And that's really what we want. But Crusader is also, um, it'll suffice, it'll be fine for a little bit. And yeah, I guess we're going back home. Usually I have a more like concrete idea of what I want to do. But this, I mean, this episode in particular is very like watch me wander around and kind of 
last minute decide what I'm going to do or change my mind and kind of run around. I don't even know like what I really have left. I need to go to the desert today, I guess, and probably get a couple little supplies from the trader if I want cheese. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just kind of running around checking stuff. I still never put in the uh, preserves jar so I can see when my pickles are ready. So, so I'm just kind of checking that and uh, just kind of chilling, you know. And this is turning into a very, very casual min-max run. And yeah, last thing at night, I guess I'll just replenish my stocks at the trader and just call it good. I will have the next episode up as usual in a couple days. And I'll finish out the every other day uploading um, with this series. And then after that, I'll go to the every other day during the week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like I was saying, which is about as consistent, but technically it'll be a full weekend off. Not that it's like super challenging to upload stuff on the weekend, but it just like feels like an easier schedule. So yeah, I don't know. I'll see you all then next time.